A decade has passed since the Syrian war began in 2011. In the beginning, people thought it was going to be quick before a solution could be found to the crisis. However, years started dragging on, bringing all kinds of calamities and pain on the Syrians and crushing their hopes and dreams of having their normal life back as quickly as they hoped it would be. Now, many people have returned to their homes, but many more are still displaced due to the massive size of devastation in large areas in the country, with no solution in sight for rebuilding the destroyed places due to the tough economic sanctions imposed on the country. أول وآخر نحن معنا قدر عطون السجر يعني هلأ أنا ما بنوصل عم نشتغل مية شغلي لحتى نوصل ندفع الآجار ودوبنا ناكل يعني هاي الظروف مية بمية ما حد عم يسأل عنا إذا ما في منظمات بتساعدنا وتعمر ترى نحن ما رح نعمل شيء معنا إمكانية يعني. After ten years of war, the actual battles have largely decreased and are only confined to the few rebel-held areas in northern Syria. However. The Syrians are now dealing with another challenge, which is the tough economic situation, such as the sharp depreciation of the currency against the dollar and the skyrocketing prices that exceed the capacities of most people in the country. Additionally, people here are suffering from the lack of necessities, such as a steep shortage of fuel as a result of the sanctions and trouble securing wheat for making bread, which is translated in the long queues in front of bakeries. True that the battles have almost ended in large areas, but the foreign sanctions are wreaking havoc on the lives of the Syrians. And the economic situation resulting from the sanctions is pushing people over the edge, as most of the young men are still hoping to travel abroad in search of stability and a brighter future.